All right. Let's see what we got here. Starting up universe mode again. All right. Sorry about that, folks. My little brother was quoting CSI Miami, so that kind of threw me off a little bit. All right. So let's get started here. Yes, a ten-year-old was quoting CSI Miami, doing the whole sunglass thing. All right. So basically, um, I started a match, that four-way match right there. And Michael Cole started talking like this and sounding crazy. So, I uh, had to come back and tweak my shit. So, uh, Eve beats Kelly Kelly, Beth Phoenix, and Layla to become the de facto number one contender. Um, Eve beat Kelly Kelly after an F5. That's her finisher on my game. I redid it. Uh, while at the same time Layla was pinning Beth Phoenix, and then I pinned Layla with a double arm DDT. So that's where we're going now. Um, so, like I said, Eve is now the number one contender, so that'll lead up to the pay-per-view. And, uh, so yeah, that's about it. So now we just need to, uh, I was gonna try and replay it, but it saved. It, I don't know. I thought it would work, but then when I went in and tried to edit the audio, it didn't want to do. And then I thought maybe I could just get rid of the audio, but then the whole video was effed up and Roxio took a dump on me. So here we are. So now we're going to get things going again with, uh, we're going to change up match two. I've got, uh, I don't use Axe and Smash, I don't use LOD, I don't use any of the legends. I very rarely use. Triple H and whatnot, so that's all got to go. So let's see, we're gonna change this. Let's do a one-on-one -on -one normal match as usual. Hopefully that's not getting boring, but we're building up to a pay-per-view, so it's got to be like that. Let's do a. Uh, let's see, Ari, and we're gonna put him up against. Sinkara. This is a train wreck waiting to happen. It's, uh... Alright, everything's good there. Let's play. Hopefully this isn't as atrocious as I, uh... thought that that Sinkara gold dust match was gonna be. But, uh... Yeah. And let's go. Any day now. Holy shit, that's loud. It's the tweaker. He's tweaking. Here he comes. He's tweaking. Asking imaginary people if they want to fight. Here we go. Man, look at that guy. Holy sh- Oh, there he goes. He's tweaking. He needs his meth. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Well, maybe not. Look at him. And he's talking to himself or some shit. Skip that shit. God, the entrances are terrible. You think they can, like, motion cap at a raw or something to where everything looks decent? You know, they already have everybody there. Just put them in a green suit and send them on their merry way. Sin car, yeah, I'm not even... Uh, you should have an option no to turn off this awful lighting, too. This put you in the jaw. What has to be going through the well, that didn't work at all. How great is Alex Riley? Shut He's up. Awesome. Yeah, awesome at being a jackass. <laughs> If anything knows uh, anything about being a jackass, it's you all. Did I just say that right? I don't know. Yeah, he has a massive fist. Dirty. No, shut up, Lawler. Get your ass out of here, Sinkar. Whee! And that's go. That's funny. When Raleigh stopped me to talk, all I want to do is go. 
God, you're awful. Just you're just a terrible person. Over the last ten years, SmackDown has excited the WWE universe with some of the most memorable moments in television history. And we'll I don't know about that. Amazing moments here tonight. Damn it. Come on, man. This young man, Sin Cara, seems to have This blo oh hell no. You are not no, no. That is not gonna happen. Yes. Eat it. WWE fans watching this match all around the world. In trouble now. Haha. I'm not sure there's anything more exciting than watching Sin Cara. I'd rather watch paint dry than watch a Sin Cara match. What a match! Oh, what a swinging neck breaker! Ew, a swinging neck breaker. Is that really a swinging neck breaker? It doesn't look anything like a normal swinging neck breaker. Whatever. Bitch slap. Uh oh, Riley's got him up. Oh, first. Snapping the neck and she plugs into a Uranagi and a TKO. That looks weird. One more time. Well, that was just a squash match. Arai really needs to have a few of those. That wasn't awful. Showcased Arai. That's weaker. And so now he stops looking like a tool. And the pin. All right. All right, next match. Let's get going here. Now, this Sunday or on game time. Nope, it's two weeks away. Hmm. Thought it was this Sunday. Whoopsies. So I got two weeks to build up a six-match pay-per-view card. I think I can handle that. All right, Triple H versus The Undertaker. That is not happening. John Cena, Robbie E, and Justin Gabriel is not happening. Blarg. Let's see. One-on-one, -on -one, normal. Uh, let's see. I haven't used Randy Orton in a really long time. Don't really want to use him either, though. Uh... Yeah, Vladdy. I need to entice a kid. That'll work. Like I said, I still need to build up Vlad for his first blood match, but I'm still not sure who I want him to feud with. There's really... I could put him up against Mason Ryan and just have, like, a huge big dude battle. That would make, like, the internet go nuts because they love their fat dudes who just beat the shit out of each other. But, uh, I just, ugh. I don't know. I thought maybe The Miz, but if you're going to do a first blood match, Miz doesn't really scream, hey, let's have a first blood match. And I thought maybe about doing Gold Dust and just, like, changing Gold Dust moveset around to where he's just, like, a total brawler, but... So leave a comment and tell me who you think should feud with Vladimir. Vladimir Kozlov, which would lead to a epic first blood match. Maybe inside of a cage. Uh, so think about it. And leave a comment. Or you can message me. I've been getting a lot of messages lately. Uh, people wanting uh, certain matches, like table matches and somebody asked for a TLC match. I will get to those eventually, just in the right settings. Damn, that was a badass headbutt. Like I said, I like to build my matches up, so if I'm going to do a cage match, it's going to be for a feud. Enter. 
if I do a Hell in a Cell, it's going to be for, what do you, think, you so know, what I will Tyson eventually do. Hey, hey! I don't think so. What the fuck? Tyson Kidd should not be German suplexing Vladdy. Come on, sorry, I've been playing too much GTA 4 and been calling people Vladdy from... Oh. Uh, Vlad, what's his butt? From GTA 4, the first set of missions. Okay, sorry. Uh, back to the match. Uh, nice. Vlad's got some good moves. Good power moves. If you haven't done it yet, check out WWE.com. No, I've never been on WWE.com in my entire life, and I don't plan to start now. <laughs> oh shit! Tyson Kidd is a little cagey little fucker. And STO will put his ass down. Oh yeah, time to eat some fist. Time to bust your ass open. How do you get up after a shot like that from That's that's, that's Vladdy's bread and butter, busting people open. And that fist connects again. One more time, I think ought to do it. The Soviet war machine using every part of his body to inflict pain. Holy shit! I've I've never had this much problems. Problems. <laughs> with uh. Beating the crap out of someone with Vladdy, man. man this is one of those you just, uh -oh. There, finally, it holy like shit! Match. And it took it hasn't taken me that long to bust anybody open. The oh, did he hit him? It's not. Hey, you time. fucker, you trying to sit there and hit me? I think exactly. not. Oh, that's a headbutt. If, oh yeah, you're getting punched again. I'm taking my frustrations out on you. Whew, that's a nice little gusher we got there. That's w worse than gold dust. Oh, I hate that move. I gotta switch that move. The next time you folks see uh, like a different show, there's gonna be like whole new move sets for a lot of guys. The, the pile driver will be utilized. I'm gonna try and ram his head into the. Uh, ow. I'm gonna try and ram his head into the uh, exposed buckle and see if that makes him bleed more. I don't know what the limit is for bleeding. Uh, it just kind of happens sometimes. Like sometimes you'll get like a gusher. Like I had one with a uh, Christian, and he was bleeding like a pig. But then you get some where it's just like a little trickle. That's why, like a uh, Fire Pro, when you bust somebody open, it's all down their chest and everything. Well, that didn't work at all. I drug him. Oh shit! Damn. This little fucker. Tyson now he's kicking the shit out of me. Look at him choking me. This is not making Vladdy look very tough, which is what I'm supposed to be doing. What a skill set Tyson Kidd there we go. Great strikes, go away. Oh yeah, you're fucked. Ooh. Wow, pin him, pin him. No, finisher. I gotta get some heat back. Whee! And British fall. Or Russian fall. So he's not British. Oh, you little turd burglar. I'd rather not. You're gonna eat some more fists. Big move coming. There's a taste of the Sambo background Get up. from this massive Russian. Yeah. Yeah. How you like that? Yeah, that teach you to kick out of my fucking finisher again. Oh he is bleeding. Holy crap. That's awesome. Oh yeah, eat a headbutt, you little turd. Alright, yeah, he's getting the pin right now. One, Damn, two, that is a lot of blood. Three. Nice. That'll teach you what to, to kick out of my finisher. You jerk. This isn't, you're not Davy Richards, and this is not Ring of Honor. We do not kick out of finishers like that. What do you think this is? 1990s All Japan? No. We hit one finisher, and that is it. This is not Budokan Hall. You douche. I don't even want to see the replays. That's right. Raise your arms in victory, my Russian comrade. Nico Bellic would be proud of you. Oh, I don't know if you'd be proud of that face. Holy crap, look at that mug. I think everybody's in the locker room in this virtual game doing blow and meth. Everybody looks cracked out of their gourd. Oh, dear. Alright, where are we going to now before I have a mental breakdown here? This game is going to be the end of me.
Actually, multiplayer Call of Duty will be the end of me. Holy crap. I tried playing that for the first time last weekend. Nope. Did not end well. I almost flung my controller across the room. Man, there are some douchebags on there. Holy crap. Alright, let's see. The main event time. Intercontinental title match between the Megilla Cutster and, uh. Christian? Yeah. That'd be a good. This would be a good B show main event if it was 1986. This video will probably end in a little bit because I was a retard and didn't set up the default record time. So you'll probably just have to wait till the next part is uploaded. If you don't mind, please don't let that deter you from subscribing and or watching the next videos. Uh, I apologize. It'll probably cut out unless I do like a squash match, but I don't want to do that since it's a title match. Blah, blah, blah. Please watch my next video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. You can send me dirty messages if you like. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook. Although if you follow me on Twitter and Facebook, you'll have to see my ugly mug everywhere. So I don't know if you want to do that. I'm rambling right now. <laughs> I am so sorry. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh dear. That's what I get for doing a video on a Saturday night. Alright. We got some interests coming. Was it me or did that sound really weird, little dude? Yeah, I think the audio's fucking up again. Man, if my sound card's going out, I'm gonna have a shit fit. Now, how come the belt looks so damn good on him, but, like, everybody else, it looks atrocious? Like, like, the belt doesn't even look like it's on them, but for McGillicuddy, it looks amazing, like, like it should. It, yeah, it sticks out way too far, but even the little man agrees here that, that it looks really good on, uh, what's his butt?